Good Thursday evening, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Video is being recorded just after 10 p.m. on Thursday, September 29, 2002, for context. And wanted to give you another update on Hurricane Ian, as once again, the storm is a hurricane once again. Uh, maximum winds uh, are around 81 miles an hour right now, keeping that storm just above hurricane strength. And we'll see it make landfall uh, once again back in South Carolina for its second landfall. And the track continues to shift just a little bit each time we get these new model runs. So uh, as of right now, uh, it's going to make landfall between uh, Charleston and Georgetown, South Carolina. And the track will continue to take it really uh, moving into the uh, North Carolina, right around Rockingham, just west of Rockingham. And the track actually has it earlier tonight, uh, as of the last update at 630, the track had it going over the China Grove area in terms of central uh, center of circulation. Now it's actually passing right near the Gold Hill area of the county uh, as the center of circulation when the remnants come through. Really hasn't changed much for us. We're still looking to get some extremely gusty winds, uh, 50, 60 mile an hour gusts still possible, and the rainfall accumulation totals still looking at around three to five inches. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the models are showing in terms of rain. There's Salisbury right there for you, and we'll get in just a little bit closer here and, and take you in three hour increments. Again, this is 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we'll start off with some light rain and uh, rain will start to intensify as we go through the day. This is 11 a.m. now, and the models are showing moderate to heavy rainfall occurring around the county and a lot of the area. Uh, we're going on now 2 p.m., still seeing pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall going on. Uh, this is now 5 p.m., moderate to heavy rainfall continuing. And then as we head to 8 p.m. tomorrow evening, this is where we're really gonna get the biggest punch from this storm, if the track continues to shift further east, that could uh, change some things for us, especially in the morning. But as of right now, things still looking very uh, secure for this being the worst part of the storm for us is around 8 p.m. on Friday evening. That's when we're going to get the heaviest rains and, of course, the uh, maximum strength in terms of the wind gust, those 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gust around that time. As we head to 11 p.m. Friday evening, you see still some moderate heavy rainfall going on. 2 a.m. Saturday morning, still seeing pockets of moderate heavy rainfall. This is now 5 a.m. Saturday morning, starting to see things start to really pull off to the north as the storm continues to race out of here. This is now 8 a.m. Saturday morning, so when you wake up on Saturday morning, uh, might still be some light rain falling out there, or most of the rain may be over with. 11 a.m. Saturday morning, things are nice and dry. This is now 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon, and around 5 p.m. on Saturday evening, we'll start to get that wraparound moisture as that low continues to pivot, as it continues to move off to the northwest, and we'll see some isolated rain chances as we head into Saturday evening and into the overnight hours of Sunday and really right through until Sunday morning, we'll see isolated rain chances continue with some wraparound moisture. Could be some pockets of heavy rainfall on Sunday as well, uh, as you can see as we head into Monday morning at this point. Let's go ahead and take a look at what our threats are for the system and how they stand currently. And again, it shows thunderstorm threats. And the reason why we're not going to get thunderstorms, obviously, but we're certainly going to get some impacts that we would get from severe storms. Uh, remember, the tropical storm warning is in effect for the county uh, until further notice. So once this uh, system comes through, we are expected to have tropical storm uh, force elements from this system. Tornado threat continues to remain low. All the warm air is going to be off to our east uh, toward the coast. That's where the better chances of tornadoes are. Uh, the damaging winds are our, one of our big concerns. Moderate to high levels of damaging winds are possible. Again, those gusts around 50 to 60 miles an hour are possible as we head into the evening hours and into the late evening hours on Friday. No concerns for hail again, because we're going to have cooler air in place. And then the uh, flooding concern is very high, especially for the amount of rainfall we're going to get in such a short amount of time uh, tomorrow.
Uh, so that's going to be our biggest concern. Localized flooding in the normal trouble spots are, is likely. Uh, streams and rivers, obviously lakes, uh, any anywhere around those bodies of water is a big concern. So we'll continue to keep uh, an eye on that. And here's the latest in terms of the model data. Again, no real big changes. Still looking at around three to five inches of rainfall here in the county. Uh, could see localized areas that get more than that. I uh, certainly wouldn't rule it out, uh, but we'll continue to keep an eye on it and see if that track should continue to shift further east. Over the last couple of model runs, it definitely has shifted uh, east and continues to do so. So we'll see if that holds true. And then again, tomorrow evening, we're still looking at the chance for wind gusts of around 50 to 60 miles an hour. Uh, you see Charlotte looking at 55 miles an hour. This is around 6 p.m. Friday evening. So still uh, some concerns with the, the winds and the amount of rainfall we're going to get. That's going to create very saturated soil. It could uh, weaken the root systems for trees. And when you've got those kinds of winds pushing against them, it could easily bring trees or limbs down onto the power lines and knock the power out. So certainly be prepared for the potential of power outages. We're going to bring you some more updates, obviously, obviously first thing in the morning. And we'll carry you right through the day on Friday, keep you updated on how the storm is progressing, make you aware of any changes in the forecast, and we'll stick with you all the way through Friday evening. And again, uh, as long as the storm is around, obviously. As always, thank you for following Rowan County weather. Enjoy your rest of your Thursday. Get some good sleep tonight. And we'll be back with you first thing Friday morning to keep you updated on all the events that are occurring with the weather around the county and the area. As always, thank you and have a good night.